Hi everyone, I'm at placement, early as always, it's 20 past 7, I'm an hour and 40 minutes early, <laughs> got my revision, last day of revision, it's Tuesday, my exam's tomorrow, I'm on the revision and I'm not as stressed, um, I feel prepared for it, I think I know enough to pass, so we've got this. And yesterday, I didn't have a chance to vlog yesterday because the gates to my placement were open. So I went into the car park, got into placement and I did my revision inside and the cleaners were around things. So I didn't really want to vlog whilst I was inside. So yesterday, just to update you, um, got to placement, wrote a little blog, a little bit of revision and then I had an amazing day with my mentor and I did something new yesterday. So yesterday I took part in a patient meeting and what we did there was me my mentor and the training practice manager and we had usually there's a group of 10 patients but today we only had three for whatever reason and what this session is all about is getting patient feedback and seeing if there's anything that the practice can do better or you know getting suggestions from patients on advice and things that they can do on certain situations that have happened and we had some really good feedback I took all the minutes down and I've typed them up and just going to print them and hopefully the doctor's happy with my minutes so waiting for that feedback so yeah that's it really so that was really good fantastic experience and I love that they get patient feedback and I think all practices do this they have the, the patient meeting and it's just such a great idea and I know in certain areas like the wards it's probably going to be tricky to do that sort of thing but I think it's just, it's amazing and it's really good that the practice embraces patients' advice and feedback and suggestions and take them on board and put them into use <laughs> um, um, to make changes because they do embrace change and that's fantastic because not many places do that and some people fear change and I'm not too sure why but this practice proper embraces change, they're always looking for better ways of doing things and it's just fantastic. I just, I couldn't think of a better place to be on a placement is general practice because everything so far, I'm halfway through, has been incredible. So I thought I'd video again because I'm in my car. Um, I was just social media, scrolling, catching up with things that I haven't done for a long time. So it's just started raining. Isn't it fabulous? Doesn't, does anyone else just genuinely like sitting in the car and listen to the sound of the rain on the roof? I think it's beautiful. That's not, I sounded really sarcastic then, but um, sometimes I sound really sarcastic and I'm not. I genuinely love the sound of rain. It's fabulous. So I'm still trying to pluck up the courage to actually run across and go inside. So I'm just gonna wait here for a while and listen to it and enjoy it and we'll chill out. Go through my placement documents. I haven't actually showed any more placement documents, have I? So this is what my placement documents look like. And inside we have a book. Um, I won't get it out because it's got details in the front and I can't blank the details out. So that's it. I'm going to go through that, add some things because I've got loads of things to add to it. And yeah, hopefully today will be a great day. So today is Thursday, which can only mean one thing. The exam's over. I'm at placement early. I have got no revision. Look. Empty. I've got no revision. Oh, such a relief. The exam's done. Um, so I didn't vlog yesterday. Mainly I forgot because I was so nervous. I arrived at university and it's just crazy like how you how you walk into the university knowing there's an exam and there's an atmosphere and everyone's quiet, everyone's really nervous looking. Um, we all walked into the room, it was really silent, like eerily silent. We all sat down could feel the tension. Anyone that's been through an exam you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and you, you know you've got the paper there on the table and you're looking you're thinking oh god is this going to be all right? Am I going to do enough to pass? And then so it's a two-hour exam, 54 questions, they give you 10 minutes at the start to just quickly look through, get the general overall gist of it, feel for the questions and then you're not allowed to touch your pen at this point. And then they give you two hours, that's it, go, get your pen, start answering. I had the 10 minutes and I was looking through and I was like Yes! This exam is going to be great! I was looking at the question, I was like, I know that one, I can answer that one. Give me my pen, can I answer it now? And the diagrams, I was like, yes, I know this diagram, I know this diagram, I know everything. Oh, not everything. I got a few wrong. 100% got a few wrong. Well, not, yeah, you know what I mean. I got a few questions through me, so I think 
I don't know, but they just threw me. So I was just like, what, what, what? And then I answered it as best as I could. So I'm hoping I've got it right. Um, and then a couple of questions, I literally, my mind went blank. Um, I knew the answer because it was a question that I've been revising for the, the past two, three months now. And my mind went blank and it was such an important question. I was like, how don't you know this? How don't you know this thing? I, oh, I, but I do know it and it's there. I know it, I know the answer. But because I was so nervous, um, my mind just went blank. Even though I was flicking through the ground, I know this one, I know this one. And it did relieve some of the nerves. But my mind, it's funny how the mind works, isn't it, during an exam? So I've obviously answered it. Um, I'm not gonna leave. Best tip for exams is don't leave anything blank. Just guess. If you don't know, your mind's gone blank, you haven't got a clue, you can't remember by the end of the exam, go back to it, put something in there because you've got a chance of actually being right. So that's what I've done. Fingers crossed, I've got, I think it was, there was three answers to it, three parts to it. So I might have half of it right, we'll see, fingers crossed. But looking at it, I've counted the questions, there's a hundred marks out, so out of a hundred, pretty certain I've passed because you only need 40 marks to pass. And when, when I was skipping through at the end, oh, I finished the exam after an hour. To just sit, go over my answers, I counted all the points up, so there was 100 points. I'm hoping I've counted that right, because we all know my maths is not the best. And so I've definitely, 100% I've passed. I'd be surprised if I haven't passed, because I knew a lot of the answers. And looking at it, when I've counted the points and things, I've passed, so... But you know where you start doubting yourself? Like the day after the exam and you're thinking, but what if I've actually answered that wrong, but I think it's right? And then you start doubting it, you're like, oh, oh. But anyway, four weeks, I've got the results. I'm confident, I come out feeling happy. I was so chuffed, I hugged one of the um, lecturers. I was like, that's a great exam, give me a hug. Um, probably made him feel really uncomfortable, so I'm sorry if you're watching this. Um, but I was chuffed and everyone, the general feel from most people coming out of the exam is they were happy with the exam, they're happy enough that they've passed, they've done enough to pass. So great exam, that was a great exam. And whoever wrote that exam, if you're watching, MP2 people, if you're watching and you've written that exam, thank you. Because the way that exam's laid out, not the, the specific questions as such, but the layout of the exam, a mixture of diagrams, multiple choice, there's gaps where you just fill in the blanks, um, there's true or false questions, there's short answers, it's a whole variety and that was, a, for me personally, I loved that, that was a great exam, the layout was fantastic, great variety, it keeps the exam interesting, um, so thank you for that, that's it, I mean overall I'm really chuffed, chuffed that I haven't got revision so now I can concentrate on placement, concentrate on the drugs that my mentor has given me to remember and fill out my placement documents, and that's what I'm going to be doing for the next th four weeks, three and a half weeks now. Today I'm um, at placement, I'm waiting for my mentor and we're going to have a great day. So let's see what today brings. Say goodbye NP2 revision. It's being packed away now. And into here. So today is Friday, it's the weekend and I'm off because I work in general practice. So it is Friday, I'm back at my window, so sorry guys, I'm back at my window, I'm not at my desk because if you can see in that corner, don't look at it, um, it's a little bit of a mess and it needs a tidy, so just wanted to do this video, round up my week at general practice, so yesterday I was with my mentor, we saw a variety of patients, we had some diabetic foot checks, we had blood pressure checks, we had some... So today I was with the doctor, we only did the morning session, sorry. I don't know what's happened to my throat, it's decided to just KO on me, so excuse that for a minute. So I was with the doctor, we saw a variety of patients, we had a child, we had an elderly lady, we had a youngish person, a bit of a variety to be honest, with all different conditions, some back complaints, a couple of patients had tonsillitis, some head problems, congestion problems, things like that, loads of different things today. So something else I did today, I was given two tasks by my mentor. The first one, I had to go online, have a look at some travel documents, look at some official sites to get some information and print out a load of things for patients. 
Um, so I did that and my second task was to try and compile together a mental health management plan so I did that as well and I've put little folders on a desktop so they're both on little folders I've saved all the links in the websites everything for her so it's ready for her I've printed a load of stuff off for the travel vaccine so I've done initially 10 patients because that's what she said she said just do it for 10 patients initially and see how we get on so that's what I've done and hopefully I've done a good job so I finished at two o'clock yay and I'm home I can cook dinner, I can relax, I love general practice, I keep telling you all this. So yeah, so I'm going to have a great weekend, I'm going to relax, I haven't got any revision to do. Oh, it's such a lovely feeling. Monday, I'm back at placement, I've got three weeks left. This is it, this is the end of my fifth week. These weeks are just going too fast. So yeah, I'll speak to you all next week and have a great weekend.